I'm Tom Dixon and I'm here with Caesar Stone in Milan. We're here in the Rotondo de la Bessana, which is the Museum of Childhood. And we're doing a project called The Restaurant, which is a fully working restaurant. And what we've created for Caesar Stone is four kitchens which are based on the four elements of fire, air, water and earth. Caesar Stone is made in the majority from quartz. It's very much an engineered material. It's used domestically, but also for things like science labs. We used a series of different Caesar Stone products to really enhance the idea of the four elements. And there was a series of different color tones that fitted very well with the different conceptual kitchens or even the furnishings that we were using them with. The first kitchen is the water kitchen. It's really about making counters and work surfaces I'm trying to make things with a surfacing material which appear as complete objects. I think quite often people have worked with this material and they've either indulged in sculpture or they've tried to be practical. And this is trying to get both in one object. If we move on to the earth kitchen, I like the idea of um, growing things in a kitchen as well, your herbs. So some of the modules are really planters for ingredients. You can't bend stone, but you can with the Caesar stone, so you can curve it, which is kind of interesting. The fire kitchen is really about managing fire, and it's really a chimney, it's a kind of industrial landscape, and the extraction is given as much importance in the fire kitchen as the pedestals on which the cooking takes place. And this is really about making the stove the centre of the kitchen in the way that it used to be in pre-modular kitchens. The air kitchen is really just trying to find a way of making a flat kitchen which can open up and unfold so that you can retract it and use very small amounts of space. What's quite nice about that kitchen is you can kind of fold it away. I think what's been nice about making the kitchens a bit more sculptural and putting them in the middle of the room and considering them in the round rather than flat against the wall is the fact that it kind of opens it up for a much more social space. So these are really intended to be kitchens that are moved around and socialised at rather than static kitchens. It kind of reflects the way that people really use kitchens. I mean, it's no secret that the kitchen is always the most popular place at parties and that everybody loves cooking and that cooking has become showtime basically now and that everybody's a kind of mini celebrity cook these days. So it's really an exercise in trying to open up what a kitchen could be and try to to express the functions that go on within them.